Hi, this is JP from Not Alive Over Arkham. Welcome to another Sinister Motives expansion playthrough, and this time we are concluding the series by playing the fifth scenario from the box, and it is Venom Goblin. We are playing on standard difficulty and using the uh, Ghost Spider protection rebuild deck from the box. So, uh, without further ado, let's get started. We are ready to begin, so I'll go briefly through what the scenario is all about. So, uh, during setup we put these three main schemes into play. Uh, the first, Lower Manhattan has one threat on it, uh, Midtown Manhattan has two threat on it, and Upper Manhattan. Um, Upper Manhattan doesn't have any threat on it at the start. Uh, Venom Coupling has steady, so we need double stun and double uh, confuse to uh, stun or confuse the villain. Well, uh, the Ghost Spider deck doesn't have any means to stun or confuse, I think, so we really don't need to mind that. Uh, then we have this counter here, which uh, represents the Goblin Glider counter, or the Glider counter. So uh, whenever Glider counter is on one of the ma main schemes, if a card effect mentions uh, the main scheme uh, that is the target. Uh, player cards can target any of the main schemes, but uh, treacheries and encounter cards and other uh, scenario cards will affect only the uh, main scheme that the glider has on it, except if the card specifically says, uh, for example, the main scheme with the least threat on it. Uh, for example, uh, Venom Goblin has a forced response. After Venom Goblin activates against you, move the glider counter to the main scheme with the least threat. Choose to either place two threat on that scheme or resolve its special ability. So every time uh, Venom Goblin attacks, the glider, glider counter will move around, either adding threat or doing one of the special uh, abilities on these. So the first one has uh, place one threat on each scheme. If a symbiote environment is in play, place one additional threat on this scheme. Then the next one has take two indirect damage. If a symbiote environment is in play, take one additional indirect damage. Then the last one has uh, discard one card from your hand. If a symbiote environment is in play, discard uh, the top four cards of your deck. So uh, when we add threat, we'll add threat to all of them, and uh, all uh, acceleration tokens only affect the card they are played on, so if I ha get an acceleration token, it is placed on the main scheme with the glider counter. If, uh, for example, some card effects give acceleration tokens, they only affect the uh, main scheme with that, and we only add what is red. Uh, written here, so only one gets added otherwise. And if uh, Venom schemes, uh, Venom, uh, Venom Goblin schemes, uh, he will scheme on the uh, main scheme that has the glider counter on it. So uh, it sounds a bit confusing, but it is not that uh, confusing when you start playing. But I'm bound to mess something up, so if you notice some misplay or play error, just leave a comment below. Usually I catch most of them in editing, so let's see how this goes. So we have shuffled our deck and the encounter deck, so let's draw our opening hand. Uh, we get plan B, jump flip across the spider-verse, what doesn't kill me, spirit punch and uh, return of the favor. Um, I don't need the, these two cards because I don't have any allies or haven't lost any health, so I'll mulligan those and draw back up. So we get Ghost Kick and what doesn't kill me. Okay, um, I think we'll save Jump Flip for the enemy phase, possibly. I will play Plan B, but maybe not use it yet. And uh, then we play Ghost Kick. Uh, so that seems like a good first turn. We'll flip to Hero mode, uh, we'll use uh, 
return a favor to play plan B. We use the what doesn't kill me and pirate punch uh, when we first attack for two. Then we'll uh, ghost kick for six. And uh, uh, we get to ready. And I'll keep the jump flip in hand. So I'll just hit again. So I, I think the best way to do this with Ghost Spider is just to try and rush the damage in. Uh, Venom Goblin doesn't have that much health, only 16 on the uh, stage 1 and 18 on the stage 2. So we'll see how that goes. But that's our turn, we're ready up. Uh, we'll draw back up to 5. Uh, we get bait and switch, phantom flip, return a favor, phantom flip and jump flip. So we are definitely jump flipping for the first activation. Uh, we'll add threat to the schemes. So one here, one here, and one here. Venom Goblin activates, so he attacks. I will defend. Uh, we get two plus zero, but I still will play jump flip with phantom flip. So we get to remove two from a scheme, so I'll remove it from here. I think we want to keep the... Uh, yeah, I think we will... Hmm. Yeah, we'll keep it on this one. So we'll remove two from here. Then we're ready. We don't take any damage, but the uh, counter moves. So we'll place two threat over here and we don't resolve the special ability. Then we get an encounter card and it is a festering mass. While there are no other symbiote environments in play, this card is considered a symbiote environment and it has five um, threat on it. I'll just put it down here. And it has an uh, acceleration token, so I think we need to get rid of that next turn. But that is the first round. Let's go to the next round. I think we are just hitting the goblin and uh, phantom flipping this away. So we will hit for two damage. And then um, we will phantom flip. I'm using the return of favor and bait and switch for it. We remove this one. I'm just double checking. Yeah, this affects any scheme, not just the main schemes. Uh, the jump flips are really, really good in this scenario because they affect all of these main schemes. And I get ready, so I'll just hit again. We are two damages away from advancing, so pretty quick um, first stage, I think. But it can <laughs> all change in a moment, but that is all we can do. We ready up, we draw back up to uh, five. And we get uh, what doesn't kill me, web bracelet, young love, spider UK, and ghost kick. So, okay. Uh, hmm. Well, unfortunately, we don't have anything to ready us with, so we'll have to probably just uh, make a setup turn, or, well, we'll see what happens. So, uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat to each scheme. Uh, when I'm goblin attacks, uh, I think I just take it this time. So 2 plus 0, oh, wrong deck again. Uh, 2 plus 1 is 3, so we'll take 3 damage. Then uh, the glider moves to the uh, one with the lo lowest threat, and we add 2. We don't want to discard any cards at this point. Then uh, we get an encounter card, and it is swinging assault, so. Uh, the villain attacks you, give the villain one additional move card, so I think, unfortunately, we have to defend for this one. So, uh, we get two boost cards, so two plus, uh, if this activates an attack, then, uh, this card gets plus two. Okay, so these are four, six, so we take three more damage, so that is, we are hurting a lot, but we have the what doesn't kill me in hand to heal us a bit. 
and then we again move this so now we have to move here and I'll add two here we really don't want to uh, activate the special yet and uh, that is that round let's go to the next round I think I'll start by playing the uh, what doesn't kill me I'll use a strength so I will also ready so we heal to be ready I'll hit uh, the venom goblin to stage 2 so steady toughness let's not forget the toughness uh, when revealed, deal two face down encounter cards to each player, so we get two encounter cards straight away. This is really similar to the Green Goblin in the Green Goblin scenario pack that you get these uh, face down encounter cards and the same uh, force response. And now uh, we can't add threat, we have to resolve the special ability, and that will be painful. So we add health to Green Goblin, so 18. And uh, hmm, then I will use plan B. Oh yeah, we, uh, we heal too, so we're ready. Uh, no, no, we already did that, so... Let's um, shuffle these cards, discard one. And we lose the web bracelet. So we remove the tough. And that is our turn, we ready up. Uh, we draw back up to one, five. Uh, let's think. I'm actually thinking of going to Alter Ego. So I'll go to Alter Ego, so I'll draw 6. We haven't uh, used the ticket to the multiverse yet, so we can't shuffle that in the deck. So we draw to 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's one less. So we get the Parental Guidance, Silk, Bait and Switch, Spider Man, Bait and Switch, and Ghost Kick. We are threat to the main schemes. Uh, Green Goblin schemes for 2 plus 2, so five, uh, 4, so we are at 10. And this uh, moves to the. Uh, we want to discard one card from our hand, and there are no. So we discard one beta switch. Now we discard the. Yeah, let's discard that. Then we get encounter cards. Uh, sympathetic, sympathetic Berserker. While a sympathetic environment is in play, Sympathetic Berserker gets Quick Strike. Uh, Court of Guard, that means we lose Plan B. Uh, we shouldn't have this many. I think I dealt one too many, so I think this was. Well, I'm just. Uh, we got two, then we got one, so we shouldn't have three, uh, four. So I'm shuffling one of these back. I think I just accidentally grabbed two. So the last one is limitless supply. It's tech att attachment against search, and in this has five. I think that is a low priority at this moment. We'll see if that changes, but that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. I'm really tempted to just head out and go skip, but that would be probably suicide. So we rather will heal. Uh, then we'll flip. And I think I will play Spider Man, Bobby Brown with these three. So we have Silk in hand. Silk could also help us. Uh, let's think about it. So um, let's instead play Silk using 
these two. Then I'll search the deck for an encounter card and discard it. And I will discard. Where is it? We already discarded it, probably. Yeah, uh, then we can't do that, so we'll discard uh, all these guard minions. They slow us down quite a bit. Or oh, it needs to be a treachery. Yeah. Let's remember that, so advance could be a one gang up. Well, I think gang up is a nasty one because we might have a lot of these berserker symbiotes to play. It's really nasty. So we'll discard the gang up. And uh, Silk will hit for one. And that is it. So now we get the Ghost Kick in hand. We ready up. Uh, we get uh, Phantom Fleet to get to the Multiverse, Web Bracelet, Strength, and Ghost Kick. So I think we try to Ghost Kick next turn. Uh, we go to the Villain Phase, we add one threat to each. Okay, let's back up. I won't hit with Silk. I will tre uh, scheme uh, or bot for one here. We add one health to <laughs> It's always a bit hard to remember everything, but yeah. We'll add threat to the schemes, like so. Bring up in attacks. I think I'll just take it. So three plus two is five, and we'll move this to. We'll just keep it on here. So I'll discard one card and I'll discard the phantom leak. Uh, Sympathetic Berserker hits, I'll just take it with Silk, hit it, we get an encounter card, it is uh, Enraged Symbiote and that has guards so we need to kill that off, and that is the villain phase, let's go to the next hero phase. Okay, um, I think we'll use Ticket to the Multiverse to play the Web Bracelet, then we will defeat this card minion. Then we will go kick with strength and deal six here. Yeah. Or should we just kill the symbiotic berserker? I think we need to slow down a bit and uh, defeat the symbiotic berserker. Best thing, things to worry about. And we uh, go one core, we get pirate punch. We can't use that for anything. So, I think I will go to Alter Ego, we'll shuffle to get to the multiverse back into our deck. Ah, we ready up, we draw back up to 6, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 4, so we get Ghost Kick, Jump Leap. And the favors, just say it can be a pirate punch. And now uh, we go to the villain phase. We ha had no means to remove this, so this advances. So we get lower Manhattan environments uh, location symbiote when revealed. Move the glider counter and each acceleration token from here to the main scheme with the least threat. There are at least two symbiote environments played. Players lose the game, so we can't let the... <laughs> oh dear, we might lose here. Okay, well, I, I haven't seen the backside of these, so I didn't know what would happen, but we'll see how it goes. So, uh, Venom will ski for 2, plus 2 is 4. Oh yeah, we still haven't added any here. So, that is unfortunately enough. So, uh, even without the addition, this goes to 11. Clips. 
and we lose the game. But uh, basically that is it. We only need to uh, deal 18 damage to Venom Goblin and have some means to stop these from flipping. So that is basically the scenario in a nutshell. Pretty simple for the last scenario and feels like uh, a doable in true solo even with this deck. I did a test game for this to learn the mechanics of this scenario and the, in that I managed to beat Venom Goblin uh, before any of those advanced but then I had some cards that helped me remove some threat from the schemes that I needed to remove. Now I have didn't have that good of a luck with my draws so uh, that is that but uh, hope you guys got a good uh, view how this scenario works and thanks for watching and until next time